the Boca Raton Bowl, Cherubundi. This is also Saturday, December 21st. SMU and Florida Atlantic. Sonny Dykes going up against Lane Kiffin's former team. Uh, Kiffin is gone. The FAU interim is defensive coordinator Glenn Spencer. He was once the D.C. at Oklahoma State. That's right. He got the job at Charlotte. Charlotte didn't do as well as they wanted over the, the however many years he was there. He moves down to FAU, takes the D.C. job, and their defense played pretty lights out this year. That's right. They did and well. I, I will say this. The players absolutely love Glenn Spencer. They were pushing hard for him to get that job. Now, Willie Taggart got the FAU job. Right. But, man, the players wanted Glenn Spencer to get it. He is going to be the interim in this game. I think they're going to fight for him in this spot. Uh, SMU wide receiver Reggie Roberson, still likely out in this game. Uh, he's more than questionable. I think he's more, like, doubtful. Uh, but there's there's always the possibility that he could play on Saturday, and we'll see. Um, I mean, you look at all of these different stats. Both of these teams can put up points with the best of them. SMU, number six in the country in offensive points per game at 43. Uh, FAU, number 16 at 35.2. FAU has actually played the harder schedule when you look at Massey's strength of schedule, which is kind of crazy, right? I mean, SMU... Yeah, but that's because they, they played Ohio State, and that's going to throw the schedule really wonky. yeah. Yeah, you get you're the right. hell beat out of you about Ohio State. It makes your strength schedule look really good. This is a fun game. It's uh, it's two thirty p.m. on ABC. Uh, Florida Atlantic playing at home. Two ten win teams. I mean, that's it's right. pretty big deal. Uh, if you look at the against the spread records, one team is going in an opposite direction of the other one. FAU three and one against the spread over the last four. SMU one two and one. Didn't look very good on defense uh, towards the end of the season. Like once they lost to Memphis, everything just kind of went whatever. It, you if you can't stop FAU, you're going to be in trouble, and I think they're going to have trouble here. I'm taking FAU plus three and a half. I'm going over the seventy here. Yeah, I like the over as well, but I like Sunny Dykes. The the FAU is FAU is not the the caliber of teams that SMU was playing and losing to and struggling to. They're just not. There's a separation of talent that's there. Okay. Okay. And I think this offense is going to be hurt significantly because I think Lane is an exceptional play caller, an exceptionally gifted offensive guy. Well, but he's not the play caller. Charlie Weiss Jr. is the play caller. Okay. And he's going to be there for the bowl game. Sure. (laughs) That's right. I think these guys are going to rise up for Glenn Spencer, man. I'm all over FAU in this one. I love it. I love it. 